So I just finished my run and getting to the gym. Lately in the gym with the high mileage, I've been doing a little shorter sessions, trying to get in and out in 30 minutes. I always make sure that I do some glute work, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing some regular clamshells, some reverse clamshells in different um, areas, some at 90, some in neutral. And I uh, sometimes use a resistant band. Um, today I'm not. Just kind of depends on how my glutes are feeling today. I'm doing just uh, more reps, like 30, 10 in each position, three different positions, both regular and reverse clamshells. After that, I'm gonna get into some core, do some quick arm stuff and a little bit of legs. Something that I really struggle with is keeping one leg still while the other one goes down. So a lot of times I wanna bring it in and it makes it a lot harder if you just keep your leg that's not moving as still as possible. Pascal is not here right now, but he sent me stuff on the phone to do. He's with some of the Bowerman ladies in Europe who are racing. So I have uh, five different core exercises that I'm gonna get started with. The first one I'm going to do is the wheel. This one I really struggle with trying to keep my back straight. My favorite ab exercises, I have to get on the ball and I really struggle with a straight back. So I really, I like to do this in front of a mirror. And I like to look over, bring my shoulder blades back and try to have a straight back. And then once I've solidified that, I bring the knee up to the ball. I need to reset because my back is starting to get bad again. So I always try to have good form Instead of just getting through the exercises, I want to actually have good form. So I'll stop and reset. And I'm going to move the ball forward and back, side to side, around in a circle, and also around in a figure eight. So I'm trying to keep everything stable except for my arms that are moving the ball. All right, this next one that I do is another one of my favorites. It's, um, it works both my glutes and my abs, which is why I like it. I do a half plank on my knee, and then I lift my upper leg up and down, which works the glute, while my abs are working as well. So this one is med ball smashes, which is a core exercise, but I always get my arms that get fatigued first. Oh, okay. okay, this one is a arm exercise, but also need to keep your core stable. So now I have one minute carries. I try to keep my back straight, also activating my core, trying to keep my arms straight as well. Trying to keep my shoulders relaxed. Now I do a minute of a suitcase carry where I pretend I'm carrying a suitcase out to the side. One minute each side. 
pretty easy for the first 15 seconds, but the last 15 are horrible. Now I have one arm, bent one arm row. Okay, now I have 30 seconds halo, so I go around my head one direction, trying to keep my head still, only moving my arms, trying not to have my back move forward and back. Switch directions. Big halos, standing still. All right, reach lunges are always hard for me. You're supposed to reach forward as far as you can, come back up, but don't lose balance like I did. And then on the way back, reach lunges again, but this time chop. That's it, that's from Pascal. Um, it's a quick session today because I'm high mileage with marathon training so we cut it in half basically. Um, and Pascal should be back next week which will be good. He'll uh, whip my butt into shape.